It's election time in the U.S., people. Election time. It is election time in the U.S. Election time, okay? Focus. It's election time. You know what? It's always election time in the U.S. <laughs> Problem with those people? Too much democracy. <laughs> they are voting, 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 voting all the time. And that is always a disaster. Too much voting. We've seen the results here. Little mix. <laughs> That's the last thing we need in the White House. And I say that as a Barack Obama fan. Now I admit he is not as radical as we expected him to be. I said to myself, the most radical thing Barack Obama could do is grow his hair out. <laughs> and he doesn't even need to do the full Chaka Khan either. He could do like a tight braid like Lamar. Or also if he wanted to go crazy, long and straight like Andre 3000. Brilliant, right? Also, Michelle, okay, she is the first lady of the United States of America. She needs to set an example. Go natural, girl. Do the full Winnie Mandela, Macy Gray. Or I know, my favorite look. I'm going to church on Sunday in Brixton, all wrapped up like a Christmas cracker. Why not, right? I mean, she can't be long forever, that Michelle. You know, one of these days she's going to wake up, look in the mirror, see James Brown staring back at her. No. As we know, all the best presidents in America had big hair, right? President Bill Clinton, big hair. President John F. Kennedy, big hair. President Don King, big hair. And you know the Chinese are going big. Oh, yeah. Chinese, big black hair, all the politicians, big, right? Sometimes they show like the Chinese Communist Party conference, all these politicians, big, big black hair, right? Not one gray hair in the room, they're all 70. Why not? Because gray hair in China is like human rights, it needs to be ripped out from the roots. And I was watching on TV, they said, ladies and gentlemen, the president of China, out he comes, big, big black hair. I said, when did Joan Collins become the president of China? So I said, Barack Obama, go big, and then, backup singers. <laughs> Might not win him the presidency, but he will thank me when his first single goes to number one. <laughs>